What is going on my friends and family? Welcome back to another video. Happy Thursday. What a day, Thursday. Huh? 22 fabulous facts about Thursday. I'm not, I'm not gonna read them all. But if there's a good one. There's <laughs> not many, but apparently Estonians don't work on Thursdays. Who'd have, who'd have thought? Not me. And in Australia, most movie premieres are held on Thursday. Basically, you didn't need to know this, but now you do. Smash the like button. Anyway, team, as it's Thursday before we start the video, the hustle may launch. You know what, like thank you for everyone that for the continued support that you know that buys the clothes and now not only supports Jazz and I, but all of the team that we've built around us. The athletes. Like Jacqueline Dahlstrom. That's cool, eh? It's her face, her name in runes on the sword, her number on the sword, hustle on the shield, and the Norwegian flag. And Emily Rolf. I always see this as, you know, like the rolling on the floor laughing every day, you know? But it's, it's not the same. But on the back it has a caribou, which is a Canadian... It's the native Canadian deer that has the tendencies that she has. Um, tenacity, endurance, and relentlessness. That's what her husband said that she has. So then we got it on a t-shirt. Super proud of those. And if you've been under the rock for the last few videos and you haven't seen it, we now have American and European distribution. That means faster shipping times. So if you're in America, you, you'll more than likely get them for the games. As long as you pretty much order today. That was a long hair of mine. It used to be Jazz's, but now mine's long. <laughs> and for the Europeans, you now don't have to pay import charges, which is, you know, a huge thing. So shophustlemade.com absolute blooming legends. Anyway, on with the news. First off, let's talk about the reigning and now defending champion, Justin Medeiros. Honestly, one of the happiest guys I've met on the planet. And uh, there's been some wholesome bits of content around him the past couple of days. One, him arriving in Madison to see his face as the first thing that people will see when they get off the plane. Who's that? It's me. <laughs> Next up, we all now know the Matt Fraser tactic. Bring your own mattress to the CrossFit Games. Obviously, the more you can make it feel like home, the better you're gonna sleep, the better your recovery is gonna be, and um, Justin Medeiros has done just that. Why am I mentioning this? One, because it's kind of interesting, but also two, the rest of the athlete field that haven't done it after a couple of days of the CrossFit Games, I can imagine they're gonna be like this. <laughs> to be honest, that would be me after one event at the moment. I'd be so sore from doing anything over about 12 reps. Just watch that, just watch that one more time. So good, so good. You can imagine the athletes. Sunday, nine workouts in, in their Airbnb, trying to get out of bed. So good. And finally, Justin Medeiros has figured out that he's got a new talent. Team, to this next clip, I say never grow up. Just don't, you know what I mean? Like, enjoy your life every moment, every little bit. What I found that my back could do. <laughs> Impressive, back farts. Never thought I'd say that on this channel or this vlog, but there we go, we have it. Impressive back farts. Now the biggest bit of news to come out of the last couple of days is that we've had our first teaser as to what to expect at the CrossFit Games. Yep, with the CrossFit Games posting, teams get ready to ride. No mention of the individuals, interesting, interesting. With what looks to be some trail bikes, Looking at that teaser, it looks like it could be like 400 meter swim. Good one. No, but any, it's, that was a terrible, that was a, I do apologize for that terrible joke. You know what I like to do when we see these posts is always go through the comments, you know, cause that's where you get the insights. And uh, Carm Porter said these, these work basically the same as C2 bikes, yeah? Now we all know Carm Porter is an athlete, an extremely good athlete at that. And um, his bike skills second to none. And he posted a video the other day which I'm sure scared Team Mayhem. Had them shaken in their boots. Oh. 
<laughs> no, but in all seriousness, this was a great announcement for Rich Froning and Mayhem Freedom Team, and they acknowledge that in the comments, and they say, and we thank you. Also underneath that, Scott Panchik saying, Rich Froning licking his chops. And why is this? Well, over the last couple of years, CrossFit Mayhem have done the 24-hour bike race in the canyon, where it's just off-road biking, building the skills in a 24-hour race. Not only that is gonna add up to the experience, but also around Rich Froning, obviously we've been to his bar and we've seen the area around him, there's a load of bike trails that they do. And as we know, you know, with something like biking, yes, it is predominantly fitness, but also you definitely need that bit of skill on the bike for efficiency and overall speed. You know, if you're better on the bike, you're gonna be hitting more tricky maneuvers a lot faster. And so Rich Froning must be happy. And I feel like that's a, so that's an event win there if, the, if I ever did see one but never say never. And then I'm here for the banter, you know, the funny comments, the one that make you go, <laughs> Travis Mayer says unicycles, nice. When you look at the photo, it does kind of just look like one wheel for, uh, for each thing. It doesn't look like an actual bike. And this guy called David, I hope it's one bike that supports all of the team members. Can you imagine? It almost ended up being like a circus trick, you know what I mean? Also, speaking of like circus tricks and everything, the other day on YouTube, this is a total detour, but it's still sporty. On the Red Bull channel, they broke the world record for the longest rail slide on skis. Something like 150, 200 meters, and it is incredible. Yep, got it, like, so cool. Oh, 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 no! Speaking of records, Alex Smith. Don't know where he is right now, but it looks incredible. It's like a forest canyon, something like that. But um, I feel like this would be the first time that this Bridge has ever had someone hands down walk nearly the whole way across and I feel like if you made it, that would be a record. Pretty impressive. And then speaking of gymnastics, Ricky Garrard has been practicing his, what do you call them? I know it's called something, but I don't know what. Parallel L sit to handstand, prepare for the unknown and the unknowable, you never know. We had those freestanding handstand push-ups last year. I mean, these, these are entirely possible to come up. I doubt it, but you just, you know, better to be prepared. Unlike my knees, which are uh, like this, and you don't know how clicky my knees are. What a specimen of a human. Noah Olsen going into this year's games looks absolutely yoked. That's a men's health cover if I ever did see one, eh? I've just made myself a coffee. Oh, I love it. What was that? <laughs> Secondly, how do you fight off jet lag when you're Willie George? You do five rounds of 250 meter run and two squat cleans, finishing at 355 pounds, 161 kilos. This year, the oldest competitor at the CrossFit Games is gonna be 72. I really hope I pronounce his name right, but she's called Yoke Dickoff. Dickoff. Yoke Dickoff. And in a statement, she said, never say I'm too old. 2014, she was eighth. 2015, she was 13th. This year, see what happens. She's in the 65 plus. And then Dan Bailey speaking to the morning chalk up gave us the event that he wants to see again this year and it's the sprint. It's the one where they did the zigzag and the jumps. I'm all for that, bring that back CrossFit. Are very, very small. So that results in a lot of really exciting finishes and really close finishes. Um, and selfishly, I would wanna see this one again because it's an event that I won. It was my first event win at the CrossFit games. And so really any kind of sprint test to just see how fast the people are or how fast our competitive competitors are on the men and women's side. Uh, would be fun. And you don't often in a CrossFit gym get to do all out sprints. You don't get to do a lot of change of direction. Those things are rarely programmed. So who has that in their back pocket and who is prepared for that kind of test is a great thing that I like to see displayed uh, out on the field. Can never go wrong with a sprint. You know, like the Matt Fraser one, what can't this guy do? Super exciting. This one with Dan Bailey in it from back in the day, super exciting. CrossFit. And then congratulations to you guys for crashing the GoWOD website. 
The sign up link is down below. Obviously, if you're going to the CrossFit Games and you want somewhere to train for free for the week, Big Dane, have free drop ins all week. Thanks to GoWad. If you click that link, hello, babe, I'm doing a video. But it is such a cool thing. I mean, it's the place to be over the Games week. Fraser, the Buttery Bros, I'll be there. Chris Hinshaw, ah, you know what I'm saying. If you want to come hang out and train with me, I'll probably be there Monday and Tuesday and Thursday in the mornings. I don't know when, but stay tuned to my Instagram story. And if I'm lifting and you want to do some lifting with us, get in. Just join in. I'm cool with it. Also, we've had the announcement of who's on the demo team. And this is the group of them. Apart from Royce, can't make it due to vaccination rules. He's not vaccinated and he can't get into America. And then finally, we started off the vlog with BKG. We're going to finish the vlog with BKG. What are you doing a week out from the games? You know, are you preserving your body, making sure that you're fine? Goodmanson likes to live on the wild side and I'm about it. This is him. And that is where I'm gonna to end today's video. Thank you Whoop for sponsoring the video. You absolute legends, the best way to keep track of your fitness, your recovery and more. Shout out to the people on the Team Richie group. The highest strain today, Alex Morales with a 20.6. And 16.4 of that is dancing. What a guy. And shout out to Mike Lee for the best recovered. So many fit people. You know what I mean? Absolute legends. If you want to join Whoop, use code TEAM to save yourself some money. And if you want to join the community on there, com forward slash Richie and uh, get involved in the chat. Anyway, team, if you have enjoyed today, please do smash that like button. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. The game's content is going to be wild. We leave tomorrow morning for Chicago. If no one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. And if you want to support Jazz and I, the team and everyone, and these videos, the best way to do it is to buy some of the Hustle Made clothing. And if I see you with the Hustle Made clothing at the games, I'm going to be taking a photo with you. You know what I mean? So, uh, and I'll definitely call you a legend. So will Jazz. And it's almost like a secret code, because you know when I see people wearing it, I know like most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time they follow the video, so it's like, it makes me smile too, you know, because I'm like, yeah, 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 you know. But also it means you're a hard worker and a legend. But anyway, we'll catch you in the next one. Oh. <laughs>